What is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. So if you watched the last video, it really doesn't have anything to do with this video, but I did mention uh, at the end that we're gonna be working on the Miata. So that's what we're doing today. What we're gonna be doing, basically putting an eBay exhaust on an NB that is designed for an NA. There's a, not a ton of info on the internet about this, but you would say like, why are you doing this? What's the reason for doing this? Well, an NA exhaust on eBay is like, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it's like a couple hundred bucks. And an NB exhaust is like seven, 800 bucks instead of like 200 bucks. So there is a pretty good savings there. And this is what you get when you order the NA kit. It's the muffler and kind of like tailpipe and then this midsection. It's been a while since I was under the car mocking it up and looking at it, but I'm pretty sure the header and downpipe section on the NB, it's like a lot shorter than what the NA is. Even though the car is the same size and length, the exhaust is completely different and doesn't fit. So I've already started cutting off hangers because none of the hangers are in the right spot or anything either. We're gonna go underneath there, start setting it up, kind of mocking it up. I think that's a good spot to start uh, so we know it's gonna fit here and then basically make it all work completely underneath the car. And hopefully it'll work out. It should be like a $200, $250 exhaust uh, opposed to like 800. And hopefully this thing will be on the ground scraping and really cool. So you don't really want to spend a ton of money on exhaust anyway. So we're gonna get into it, start mocking it up and we'll see what we have. So it's now all mocked up. This is, you know, I think appropriate, but we don't want anything crazy. So it's tucked in a little bit. It's up as high as it can be because the battery like tray box thing is right there. And I don't want any rattling or anything like that. And then I got the muffler basically level. It's kind of hard to tell. And then coming over here to the first flange, it's really tight looking like to the subframe right here, but there's tons of room in front of it. We can get to the nut, get to the bolt. All that's good. This hanger is actually from the front piece. I cut two off of like the mid pipe and I'm basically, I'm just gonna lay them in the factory rubbers and this one's super long so it'll re-tack it weld it right there uh there's one on top in the back that goes to nothing so na's must have a different spot there same with up here i had to cut it it was like off the top and it wouldn't line up with this at all so now this way i can just basically put that right where it needs to be tack it and i'll probably run a, like a reinforcement bar to like from up here to the top of the can the only one on this whole exhaust system that seems to line up is this one at the back tack that on there tack that on there and then I've got this pretty well situated. Uh, it might hang like a little bit low. It's really hard to judge right now. I'm just kind of looking at the subframe. It's a little bit lower. I really can't go any higher because it's right up against the diff and the axle is like right there. So maybe like a half an inch or a quarter of an inch I can go, but I don't want to get it too close. And then you start hitting bumps and it's rattling and hitting on everything. So there's a bunch more work. The majority of the work to do is going to be up at the front, attaching it basically to the stock exhaust. My plan is basically I'm going to weld these hangers on and get it like completely situated, mounted. So I don't have to use all these jack stands and stuff. And then it's going to be where it is. Then I can just have like one jack stand up there and start connecting it to the exhaust. So this is basically, the whole axle back and then even you know kind of up to the front but not like an insane amount of work to adapt the na system to the nb chassis i think this is definitely worth it because it's way cheaper to get an na exhaust system uh, than it is for an nb so this amount of work is not a big deal if you're like me you can do it yourself in a few hours or whatever in the garage and save yourself like a ton of money so it should be cool we'll weld this up and then see what that looks like and then keep moving on to the front So now we're up here and like I said, this is what is left of the exhaust on the car. Obviously it's in terrible shape, but it's not like completely rotted. Although like the flange is, so as I said, we're going to replace that flange and cut it back a little bit. But the main issue now that we have all that done is this comes off at a super weird angle and it's like up and over. And when you go to put like a pipe to it and sit it flush, like flat on the flange, it's way up over here and I, I don't know like I don't know something with the NA must be completely different so I basically just marked it at a point where I think the angle should stop and basically slice this off flat here and then we can just continue um, a straight pipe basically to this and then we'll have to figure out where to cut this off um, because this is also on a weird 
angle out. So basically I'm hoping I can just eliminate kind of the majority of this angle and this angle and honestly just put like a straight pipe from here to here in there. I have no idea how loud this is gonna be because like there is some sort of resonator thing and there's also that bigger muffler and then there's still also like the big can on the end. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be insanely loud and raspy and terrible because then we'll end up coming back in here, cutting this off again and putting like a, another muffler or like a cat. I guess there's no cat. I just realized that should be where the cat goes. Anyways, this is the rough idea. We're just gonna basically connect this to that and make the angles work so it's something in between here. Whether that is pipe that we bought or possibly the cat, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I just got this piece cut um, to fit. This is super janky and not great, obviously but I got it somewhat like flat looking. Um, for some reason, there's a giant kink in this pipe back here. So it puts it like way towards and like basically underneath the drive shaft for some reason. So I guess ideally you would cut it like way back here and then just put like a straight piece in. But then also this is super weird and shoots up and this gradually comes down. So I guess the better thing to do would be like cut it way back here and you can actually, there's quite a bit of room, so you could probably weld the flange and everything on the car and then just go straight from here all the way into here. But I don't really have enough pipe for that and I don't feel like going to get anything, so this will work. And then I'm gonna use the flange that I cut off the end of that pipe on here eventually. I'll have to trim this back a little bit. So I'm gonna tack this here and make sure everything's good and then start to basically trim this end and this little flange where we can hook this thing up and hopefully start it. I mean, we haven't started this car in a really long time. It's been sitting all winter. We'll see if it even starts. That'd be cool. See what it sounds like. Hopefully it's not too bad. And then I don't have to redo all this and put a muffler in here or something stupid. So well, I forgot to film anything, but it doesn't really matter. It looks terrible. The fit up is like pretty terrible, but I'm gonna take it off now. It's all tacked. I'm gonna take it off, just make it all up. It'll be fine. It shouldn't hit anywhere, which is like my main concern. Like I said, I would like to change this rusty flange on the stock exhaust pipe, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Then I'll actually be able to bolt it up, put the gasket in, and we should have an exhaust. So I'm gonna get this all welded up, get it back on the car, and I don't know, we'll see, what, we'll see how it goes. really close but it's actually good see here is what i was worried about but it's tons of room in there and when you jiggle it around it doesn't really hit anything and it's never going to move that much once the rest of the exhaust is hooked up to it so that's sick i think that's a win we're pretty good here all the way across the back and now we will grab the basically like straight pipe section bolt it up here Run it all the way up to that rusty piece of garbage flange up there, and we should be good to go. Okay, under the car, everything's in, bolted up, and I'm calling it now. This is not gonna seal. It's so rotten, um, it's unreal. So I'm probably gonna have to cut this flange off, cut this back, and I don't know, redo this section like i said before I'll probably come back to here but for now we're just gonna start it see what it sounds like i'm sure it's gonna be leaking from right there yeah like i said i'm not a professional welder obviously but if you have a welder and you got a couple hundred bucks you can definitely do this in a weekend or even a day if you were like really trying to get it done and save yourself like 500 bucks so clean my tools up get out from underneath here hopefully this thing will fire up try and give it a start and uh, i don't know we'll see what it sounds like i'm not expecting like an incredible sound because it is a Miata, but it's also an eBay exhaust that I've basically just welded back together. So we'll see what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. Battery's pretty dead. There we 
go. It doesn't sound terrible. It's kind of loud. Okay, that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Okay, I wonder if I put the silencer in, if that'll make a difference. <laughs> if this doesn't help, I'm gonna have to redo it and put a muffler in there because that's atrocious. <laughs> That's probably the worst sounding car I've ever heard. Okay, so it's actually a few weeks later. That was all filmed like before the drift event and all that. Um, unfortunately, the car does sound pretty bad. But like I said, this was kind of just like try it out, see if it works, kind of temporary thing, just so we can like start the car, move it in and out of the garage, drive it around the yard, whatever. Just kind of mess with it. But that exhaust was $210 Canadian. It's for an NA, like I said, but all of the NB exhaust, the cheapest one that I could find, is 800 and something US. So that would be almost $1,000, over $1,000. So it's way, way cheaper. And if you actually took a little bit of time and maybe had a little better fabricating skills than I have, you could actually probably make it work pretty decently. It's not bad for what it is. It should be good enough, but of course I'm gonna have to put like a cat on it or something up at the front because it's so raspy and terrible. We can't have that. So that's gonna have to change eventually um for now it's gonna be fine after i got the exhaust on i actually ended up putting the coilovers on the back that we had for it to kind of match the front as well as the other brake so we actually drove this thing for the first time ever since we got it because when we got it there was no drive shaft there was no brake caliper and we really didn't hear it run because there was no exhaust So we made some pretty good progress on the Miata actually, and uh, that's pretty cool. One thing that I wanna make sure was kinda clear with this car, it's not my car, it's my girlfriend's car, number one. And number two, yes, it is in really, really rough shape, uh, lots of rust, and we're gonna have probably a ton of videos and a ton of work to do to this car, but it's all like pretty common stuff with these cars, so if you have one, it might be cool to like follow along and see what you're up against, see how to do it and stuff like that. But my main point is, yeah, you can go out and buy a nice NB, but they're super expensive, and they probably have, you know, a decent amount of kilometers. This car only has 95,000 kilometers. So I don't even know what that is, like 50, 60,000 miles, something like that. So super low. It's a lot of work, but we paid less than half of what a good condition with more kilometers NB would be. So that's why we're doing this. And it makes sense in my head. And hopefully by the end of the build, it'll be a decent car and we'll have actually something, you know, worth looking at. So that's pretty much it for the Miata. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing to that thing next, but what I do wanna do next is get the BMW back in here and just do like a nut and bolt check, kind of look at it, make sure there's no damage or anything underneath. There's a few things that I do wanna do and then I have to do after that first event. There's another event coming up next weekend. I don't think that I'm gonna to go to it, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm gonna try and just check the car over, take a look at it. I think in this weekend, it's supposed to be nice a couple of days, so I think I'm gonna pull everything out of the garage, mop the floor, you can see I did this area already, it looks really good. I wanna do the rest of the floor, and I wanna get the S15 out, because it's been kinda of packed away and covered all winter, and I really wanna see it and just look at it. So, hopefully next video, we're gonna have all the cars outside, and kind of go over the S15. And then I want to do a bit of a walk around. A couple people have been asking about it. And it's just something that I want to do for a long time, kind of explain the car and just talk about it and be boring. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight on options for the exhaust of the NV. Obviously they make exhausts. It's just a thing of money. So if you're on a budget, this is a pretty decent idea. All it takes is a little bit of fabricating up at the front. And then really you never see it again. This part at least looks somewhat presentable and it's got an exhaust. So but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to end it right there. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.